Welcome back as CryptoFly channel. Today, we'd like to continue to talk about uh, TradingView tools. And today, we'd like to show you how to work with regression trend. Let's dive in. If you have any question, go always to Invispedia. It's totally free source where you can find out a lot of, a lot of almost all uh, information what you need about any financial question. I recommend you to read the line of regression of time at the price, this big article. It's more about uh, the technical side of this one, but I would like to show you in the simple words, an example, how it exactly works, how it looks like on a chart and how you can use it. The line of regression channel consists of median line and two parallel lines above and below it at the same distance. These lines can be considered as support and resistance. The middle line is calculated based on the line of regression of the closing price, but the data source can also be set to the opening price, high or low, whatever you want. The height of the channel is based on the deviation of the price to the middle line. Using the line regression channel is a great way to identify the potential K levels of the future price movement by graphical representation of the trend distribution. Find the regression trend channel. You can go to second section here on TradingView, find the channels. Here's a parallel channel based one and the regression trend. Choose it. Then you should use the magnet or use the control. Uh, then I choose, for example, this is a top and this is a current price at this current moment, right? So I choose this one and add the magnet to this current data. Then the trading view automatically will determine the zone and the channel for this one. Base it on settings. Click and here. So the trading view build, but this channel, especially on daily time frame. So we go into settings. Uh, you know how to work with visibility. You know how to work with coordinates. The style is just uh, adjust colors. You can extend lines, right? And you can uh, use the person air data this one more about this uh, uh data you can read in an article big article it's more for attach next one it's inputs it's upper deviation and lower deviation standard settings it's uh, two and minus two you can use it use we use the source by daily cattle close so here you can find out so we use by daily cattle close for example we can use by uh open this one so a little bit different right we can use by high totally different right but i recommend you activate both of these uh, settings and use by um close source why uh, because in this channel we can find out exact deviations deviation at the bottom this one for example one another deviation of channel and when we see the deviation sooner or later if we see the deviation at one side, sooner or later we will see the deviation at another side of this channel. It gives us the option to open position. For example, when we got a deviation at the bottom, then we get a test of channel, we can open the position. Of course, uh, more likely uh, better buy on a spot, because of course on a daily time frame you can't uh, trade intraday right so uh, you go to lower time frames and then uh, find another channel inside a daily channel you know and determine the better entry because i don't think so the 14% uh, stop loss is a pretty good one right for trades but uh, if you want to buy on a spot you can buy on it and take a look their reaction like 26% another reaction here deviation Next one, daily candle close, you buy it, stop can be a lower than this low, 8% on a daily, and we can hold till equilibrium or till the top. So it was like 48%. Now let's go to 4 hour time frame. Once again, here, this is the bottom, for example, this is a low where the candle close, and here's a regression, right? So we got a deviation at the top, deviation at the bottom. Potentially on 4 hour time frame, we can bounce from this current price to equilibrium. But don't forget, we got a like higher time frame channel. This one, maybe it was a top of 12 hour time frame, and 12 hour time frame is uh, more important than 4 hour time frame. That's why we maybe not hit the equilibrium on 4 hour time frame again and go into equilibrium on 12 hour time frame. That's why you should know inside the global channel, we got a local channels. If you don't want to draw the channels by yourself, you know, you can use the free 
tool on TradingView is uh, Liner Regression. This one you can activate on uh, different time frames. TradingView automatically build this channel for you. You need to just a little bit adjust uh, the settings. So turn on 12 hour time frame. Inside 12 hour time frame, we got uh, this channel. But why exactly like this one? Because of source. Because of source inputs 100, lands 100. So 100 candles. So we can add like uh, 50 candles. And it's count smaller channel. If we count like 200 candles, it's build us totally another channel, right? With the deviation at the top, one, two deviation at the bottom, uh, second deviation at the top. So basically now the road can be open to equilibrium, equilibrium of this channel, right? And we got all the flow here on 12 hour time frame, you know, so it's only up to you how to adjust uh, personally to your strategy, to your time frame, uh, this channel. Uh, but anyway, this indicator is uh, save you a lot of time if you don't want to draw by yourself. Line of regression indicator or the channel together with the RSI, just basic standard RSI. You know how to work with RSI and when we dump under the last line, you know, we are oversold. When we at the top, going out of the top, we are like overbought. We can trade long term periods oversold right that's why we can combine together rsi and the liner regression channel so we it's give us the more information to open position so for example if we dump on this specific time frame under oversold zone and on the channel we trade exactly at a bottom or we got a deviation with the weeks you know, we can buy on a spot or open position, depends of your uh, risk management. So, for example, we could open like this one, stop loss uh, could be like 1%, we get a pump like 2%, got it. But of course, on 30 minutes time frame, it's going to be totally different channel. We didn't test the bottom, that's the point. Example, on 15 minutes time frame, when we trade long time periods, one at the bottom, this one, but didn't touch the bottom and we dump it lower. So, this we oversold and like at the bottom on the regression channel, but we dump it lower. So from 174, we dump it to 166 and we come back once again to over uh, sold zone, but test the support channel a lot. It gives us the option to open trade with, for example, 1% risk and get a profit to uh, percent rewards. You can adjust this indicator uh, with your settings personal settings. So you can adjust, for example, with uh, 300 uh, candles, right? It's going to be totally different sideways move. Of course, you can't trade only with these two indicators because, for example, uh, here could be the entry, but the stop loss should be like 14%. But this is a way how you can combine these two indicators uh, and this tool on TradingView totally for free. So guys, I hope you like this video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe for more free educational content. See you next time, guys.